on in. As our investigation in New Jersey continues, you'll meet many more potential predators who stick around to answer my questions. What about visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. As our investigation in Ocean County, New Jersey continues, all the men who come to our undercover house are expecting to meet a young girl. Except this next man. He's been chatting online with a decoy posing as a boy. A walker right here. He's 46-year-old Anthony Palumbo, and he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18-year-old actor to play the part of the young teen. Hey, <laughs> come on in. Awesome. All right. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. You make your good direction. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling himself Hi Buddy What's Up, he tells the decoy who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy that he's horny. Then the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh, okay. You want to do it raw? Raw? Yes. What's that? No rubber. I was supposed to bear left. I now he's eight, here, uh, beer in I hand, stopped. asking I the decoy several times to put it, it in the refrigerator. <laughs> you can put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in a little bit. All um, right. I'll relax. I'm just a little nervous. I'm nervous, well. too. Right. <laughs> My excuse to come here, I went to Atlantic City. I just I don't know. What, what put that in the refrigerator. Do. I don't know. We'll just chill out. That's it. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just nervous. Yet, but, you know. That's all right. If I would, you could put that in the refrigerator anytime. All right. I don't even. Don't get that. drunk with that. <laughs> I won't. All right. <laughs> so why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? I'll see my brother. Yeah. Yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, mm -hmm. my brother is home. My other brother. Right. And I said, I got to go to Atlantic City. And, but instead, you came here. I stopped by to go there. So you like to gamble? Yeah, I love to gamble. You took a little bit of a gamble coming in here tonight. No, I just stopped by. But you said you were nervous when you came in. Why were you so Yeah, nervous? because I was going to Atlantic City, and it was dark, and I not usually to drive at dark at and nighttime. So, so the nighttime makes you nervous? Yeah, driving. And I'm not a driver at and, night. And what about fun. visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I just wanted to just say hi. It just was to say that, hi yeah. and drop off a package. Yeah, I had beer. Have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. You can smell my breath. Not at all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. He tells me several times he thought the boy was 18, but in the chat log, the decoy tells him two different times that he's 14. How old are you? 39. 39. You said you were 35 online. 35, 39. We find out later he's actually 46. He says he's unemployed and spends his time caring for his ailing mother. Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Did I ask? I don't remember that. Are you top or bottom? I'm horny, you say. I was just fooling around. Well, if you're just fooling around, then why were you so concerned about knowing whether or not he was a cop. Just joking. Just joking. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide to come over here and meet a teenage boy after uh, this sexually explicit conversation? I thought it was like I wanted to hang out with someone, like a friend. Like I thought he was like 18, something like that. It wasn't, I'm really not gay or anything. You. I'm just saying. Well, this isn't about gay No, I'm straight. just saying. I'm and straight. And I'm nobody just cares saying. what adults do. No, I'm just know? saying. But... When you involve somebody who's 14, that's when it becomes an issue. How old are you, you ask? 14. I told you that already. You say K, meaning okay. Right? I wasn't going to. But why do that. that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain it to me. I don't no, know. No, you're right. No, you're I, right. It's stupid. It's, it's not. It's an no. illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. Do you ever uh, watch much television? Sometimes, once mm -hmm. in a while. I'm not so much of a TV person. Well, I'm Chris Hansen, and I work for Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults oh. who try to meet kids online. Oh, I like wouldn't want to be, um, oh boy. You can walk right out of the door, you can't. Okay. In. He quickly leaves the house and is startled by the police. This guy, who became quite famous in the TCAP community, is named Anthony Palumbo. Now, the reason he became iconic is because of his speech pattern, his sayings, the way he talked when he walked into the room. Online, cruising gay chat rooms, he identified himself by the screen name, Hey Buddy, What's Up? 
And Palumbo says, I want to be top. Uh, okay, says the decoy. Well, I don't have no rubbers. You bring them? Yes. Then Palumbo says, you do it raw? Raw? Yes, what's that? No rubber. Now this no rubber line has become infamous in the TCAP community as well. Here's a guy, by all accounts, his transcript, who at 46 has no problem having sex with a 14-year-old boy, Ray. But he's worried that the boy might drink one of the beers because of his age before he gets him to the refrigerator. He says, don't drink those, don't get drunk. And so I walk out. I'm wearing a bulletproof vest underneath my shirt. If you look closely at the video, you can probably tell. And Palumbo on the surface really didn't pose any threat, physical threat at least, that I could tell. But, you know, we're not too sure. Now, he had already said that he was going to Atlantic City, and that was his cover for leaving his parents' house in Staten Island. And one of the other things that became iconic from this particular episode was the way he said Atlantic City. He said, Atlantic City, I'm going to Atlantic City. Atlantic City. He said he wasn't really going to do anything. He said he was stupid. That's how he said it, stupid. And that became iconic, too, in TCAP lore. Palumbo was ultimately convicted of one charge of criminal attempt to have sex with a minor. He was sentenced to a lifetime of parole supervision and registration as a sex offender. In spite of his iconic TCAP status, not much is known about Anthony Palumbo's activities or whereabouts before or after he was arrested. We do know that he was involved in a rather bizarre incident two years before he surfaced in our investigation involving his mother and father on Staten Island. The father, Frank Palumbo, brandishing a pitchfork, he was 85 at the time, threatened to kill his wife in some sort of dispute over a million dollars in stocks. So Frank Palumbo, the father of Anthony, was actually arraigned and charged with assault and weapons possession on this attack on his 75-year-old wife inside their home. And apparently, Frank Palumbo first used a wooden tray to break his wife's nose, then menaced her with a pitchfork, shouting, I will kill you, a police source said. During all of this, apparently Anthony also went to the hospital because his father had poured boiling soup on his head during this entire dispute. Palumbo did have another brush with the law in February of 2019. He apparently got involved in some sort of hit-and-run accident out on Staten Island and was arrested, and he actually spent 45 days behind bars in Rikers Island in New York. He was released, and it's one of those cases where he's left no real trail since then.